Jen from Love Chic Living and I want to show you around a makeover that I've just done in my dining room. So this is, you know, essentially a dining room. We live in a three bedroom or four bedroom now, um, Victorian terrace. It's 120 years old. So this would have been the traditional dining or parlour room probably back in the day. Um, and we use it as a dining room, a sort of lounge room, a kind of den. The kids play in here as well, because it's, it's sort of like they're a bit older now and they want a bit of a hangout space. But it's also a walk through to the kitchen. So a couple of years ago, I actually took the door off between the two rooms, the kitchen and the dining room. And now we sort of, it's not really an open plan space, but I've done some makeovers and the space kind of like flows between one and the other. So I've had this room ready for a month or two, but I really needed the kitchen area to be done as well because you kind of see that before um, I was ready to show you around. So I want to give you a little tour, show you what we've done. I've made some massive changes. Have a look at the before pictures because they are crazily different. Uh, but it had been a long while since uh, we decorated in here. I don't know, probably about five or six years, maybe longer, I don't know. Um, sometimes when you've got kids, life just gets in the way and you don't get, you know, time to kind of um, redecorate and do makeovers. But this one's quite a big change and I'm going to talk you through some of the things that I've done, some of the reasons I've done it, and you can see what you think. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. So I'm actually stood in the doorway between the kitchen and the dining room and just showing you around this space. So we've got a fireplace there. Uh, it's not a real um, fire, that one. It's a bioethanol fire. Uh, so it's really easy to use. You just use a bioethanol liquid to make the fire. You don't need to install it in any way or put um, a liner in the chimney which uh, is kind of like why we went for it <laughs> in some ways. But um, the main thing I started with in here was this amazing floor, which is from Harvey Maria. It's a vinyl floor. This is called Check by Nisha Crossland. And um, yeah, you can see it's the floor that really makes the statement. It's got big impact. So I knew I wanted a black and white floor and then I knew I wanted pink walls. These walls this wall colour is from Farrow and Ball. It's called Middleton Pink. And, um, you know, like with all Farrow and Ball colours, it goes on and it makes different kinds of shades depending on the light that's available at any particular time of day. So I love that. Um, and then I wanted lots of greenery. So you can see I've got plants, I've got greenery in the art. When we move around here, you can see kind of all the greenery up there that I've got on my cupboards. Um, but I do like pops of colour too, so a bit of pink, a bit of yellow, and lots more green. So this is our kind of like storage units. These are just from Ikea. They're the best storage units. And we had a few before the makeover and I've added that bank to them as well. So it's loads and loads of storage in here now. It's amazing how much you can actually get in those bester units. So moving around, let's walk you around, here we go. This is our little dining table. It's not very deluxe, it is a simple Ikea table. It opens out to be a big, um, I think it's like an eight foot table. It's got um, two wings that kind of come out either side. Um, so it's really useful uh, for us and for when we have people around. Um, and yeah, just some art. I love art. I love art and colour on the walls. And, um, you know, I'm always kind of collecting it and putting bits and pieces up. And then you can kind of see through the doorway into the kitchen there. And you can see how the flooring is exactly the same. And it's just all followed through. And it really kind of, well, obviously it's, it's way, a huge impact um, as it goes through into the kitchen. But it just gives that flow. It, it helps the two rooms connect with the doorway off, with the door off as well. Um, yeah, so we kind of move around and there's my little sofa. It's the Charnwood Love Seat from Darlings of Chelsea. It's so, so comfortable and it's in aqua uh, velvet. Um, so it's beautiful, really, really lovely. Well, I can't tell you how gorgeous that is to sit on. And that's our little room really. I've got my little gold trolley there that I bought from eBay. <laughs> a great little bargain, uh, cost me 50 quid on eBay. 
it's a proper old one. It folds down. It's rusty. It's everything. It's really cute. Um, so I kind of like that. And what I've done over there is just like put bits and pieces on it. If you can see, um, and got a cushion in the back there because it just hides all the wires. That's where we've got our router, our Wi-Fi, and everything's all set up behind there. So it just hides a multitude of sins. So there we go. It's our dining room come den. Uh, we love it. Love the makeover. Particularly love this art here. This is from Green Lily Art. Really lovely um, pieces, lovely designs there. And then on this wall above the sofa, I've got some of my favourite art. Um, the picture at the bottom is of Yosemite Park. I don't know if you've ever been. That's the Big Sur. That's a mountain that uh, we went there on our honeymoon, actually. And we stood at the bottom of Big Sur in Yosemite. But also uh, my husband got that from his mum after she died from her house and he'd bought it for her. So, you know, as well as there being like lots of modern art and prints that I've just picked up at different places, I've also got some art that means something to us and has sentimental value. So there we go. If you've got any questions about the things that you're seeing in the room, I've mentioned all the main pieces, but if there's anything else that I haven't mentioned that you want to know about, then let me know in the comments below and I will happily answer your questions. So I just wanted to say a couple of things about, um, you know, why we use this room in the way that we do and we don't have it set out like a traditional dining room. And our kids are now 13, nearly 14 and nearly 11. And so, you know, when they were smaller, it was fine. And we didn't really need this room so much, but now we find that we just need a separate space. We need a space where we can kind of have space from each other sometimes. And if this works really well um, for them if they want to come and hang out in here and watch TV or we've got a Wii in here, they play games occasionally, or hang out with friends, and different things like that. And we're not a family that sits around the dinner table hugely. We do it the weekends. But, um, you know, one or other of us is always doing something in the evening. So it's always really tricky to eat together in the week. And we've got a great breakfast bar area in the kitchen. So we tend to kind of all sit around there and eat. And maybe on Sundays when we have a roast or something like that, we'll come and sit in here at the dining table. But um, it was really important to us that the room works really hard and is multifunctional. And so that's why I've kind of laid it out like this put a sofa in here, works really, really well. And I think, you know, we do, we are able to use it and have the table out and have meals together. But, you know, when we had a big table, big sort of static table that was just there in the middle of the room, we used it, the room even less. And it was just like a corridor through to the kitchen, really. So this works really well for us. And maybe it gives you some ideas for how to use your own space in your home, but really just, I think, just to try and be experimental with space. You don't have to use spaces in the traditional ways that maybe other people do or the ways they were originally intended. And try different layouts and move things around. Oh my gosh, I've had things moved around in this room so many different ways. But once you do try it, um, live with it for a little bit, see if it works, if it doesn't, you know, try it in a different layout. But we're really happy at the moment with how this is working for us. Who knows in the next few years how it'll pan out. But for now, this is really good for us. So I hope you've enjoyed the little tour around the dining room, den, as we like to call it. And um, yeah, leave me some comments and let me know your thoughts. And if you have enjoyed the video, then hit that like button and please go and subscribe and follow me for more makeovers, more reviews and more top tips on how to create a stylish family home.